Praise God, praise God. Well, I'm looking a little sweaty because I have been um, taking care of business today. I hadn't been to the store since I got back or whatever. So I needed, you know, paper towels, as y'all can see, things like that. I just, I was going to wait till I get home. But I just met somebody in the parking lot that was glorifying God because I got, um, I'm chasing God t-shirt on. All right, so praise God. Let me tell y'all what didn't happen today. I'm so full. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And that's probably why, because I was going to wait till I get home to do this video. But I realized that, and that's what I'm telling you. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. When the presence of God is on you, don't wait. Do what God say do now. So anywho, let me tell y'all what happened. So when I got out of, um, when I got out of the house today, which God strategically made me get out that house at a certain time, because I was actually going to wait till like two, three, four o'clock. God said, no, you be, need to be out here by one thirty. He, he was specific. God has never been specific like that, except back in 96. So anywho, when I go outside, I hear people laughing, but I also hear this guy say, get that gun out my face, get that gun out my face, get that gun out my face. So I go around the corner and it's about to go down. I said, not on my watch. I started praying. I went around that corner. I was not scared. Everybody else might've been scared because that's what they're doing. I said, the power of God is with me. I just started praying. No, I didn't have to go up to nobody. Hallelujah. I just started praying because the Bible says, God says, wherever I tread my feet, the presence of God. And next thing I know, he, they calmed down. He got in the car and left. I said, glory be to God. And I kept praying. And I stayed and I prayed over that whole complex. Hallelujah. I said, devil, I see what you're trying to do. You see, but let me tell you something. I might be going through something, but I still know who I serve. I still know my authority as to Luke 10, 19. Hallelujah. So I'm in Walmart parking lot. I come out. I don't know what happened. These two guys, older and a younger guy, he said that the guy was behind him and he stole his phone and they are about talking about killing each other. I said, not today. They looked at me. I said, let me tell y'all something. They're security cameras. There's a way to do it. And they calmed down immediately. I saw it with my own eyes. Hold on. I am not trying to glorify myself. I'm in this parking lot glorifying God because the devil think or thought he was going to do something. Let me tell y'all something. It is time to decree and declare a thing before God. I'm sick of these devils. They trying to take people out. And this is not a game. They trying to take us out. Oh, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. And, and I got to be very, very real and transparent like I always am. This with my daddy hit me to the core of my spirit. But I, when I said yes to God, I said yes to God. And I would not question God. I would not go against God, what he wants to do and what he don't want to do. Hallelujah to his name. I feel a heavier anointing than I ever felt. Am I in pain? I'd be lying if I say I wasn't. Hallelujah. However, I feel the anointing of God like never before. Y'all ain't ready for me. I, 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 I'm telling you, I keep hearing pain and purpose. You see, th there's no perfection. That's just purpose. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Since the 70s and the 80s, God have always put me in the midst of people trying to kill each other. Don't, don't ask me why. And I just, I say, no, not on my watch. No, not on my watch. And today it happened twice. And I was going to wait till I got home. But when I turned the corner after I talked to those people and they calmed down. And he, then he finally went in there and said he talked to security. Hallelujah. Walmart got the best security system. I used to work for him as an accountant. I know. Hallelujah. The best in the whole country. Trust me. And so, anywho, I'm coming back into the, the car, you know. And so, and, and again, that's what strategically. Because I've been in that store about an hour. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Because God wants to show the devil, despite of what my servant is going through, she's still going to praise me. In spite of what my servant is going through, she's still going to glorify me. And she's not worried about herself. She's worried about her brothers. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. Hallelujah. I say that's the blessing. That's a lesson in the blessing. Hallelujah. So anyway, I'm coming to the car. And this elderly guy, he from Memphis, he say, I'm praising God with your sister. I said, well, that's confirmation. Because I heard God say, do, do the live line. I was like, I'm going to do it when I get home. He said, no, we nah. So when I saw that guy, I said, I'm praising God with you. I said, okay, the glory of God is on me for him to even say that. So let me go ahead and do it now. And again, it is not to glorify myself. It is to tell you remnant. It is to tell you children of God. You better start getting it together. You better start decreeing and declaring where you stay, where you live, 
where you roll. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Stop letting the devil take your neighborhoods, your children, your husband, your wives. Come on, somebody. It is time for the remnant to stand up and hold the bloodstained banner. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. I can't tell y'all right now. It's a time coming. There was so much that happened concerning my dad's death. They thought it would break me. I saw everything. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. It might have hurt me, but he didn't break me. And, and look, that's another thing they do. When I'm doing videos, they do a horn. They did that on a couple of more videos. They got a horn. They always following me. Oh, this, this ain't for the weak at heart today. They follow me. They come in my home. I had to buy another charger. This is my third charger in less than a month. Who cut my charges when I'm ain't no ain't, that ain't that? Who cut my charges? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I ain't scared. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all better stop being scared because guess what? I'm a forerunner. I'm telling y'all what they do. So guess what? When it happens to you, you know that you gotta keep on being strong. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me tell you what I heard God say. He said, Diana, bring your Egg game, break your end game, fast and fast and pray. I haven't stopped fasting. As a matter of fact, the fast stopped, stopped yesterday. I'm still fasting. And this again, not trying to glorify myself, just letting you know I'm a soldier. I thought I told you if I didn't die in my foolishness, which I should have seven times, I almost got killed. How much more am I willing to die for righteousness? Y'all ain't scared me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, when the time comes, I'm gonna do like Jesus. Hurry up and do what you gotta do, Judas, so I can get up out of here. <laughs> Y'all did everything to me. What love could you possibly do to me to stop me? Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Hallelujah. Nobody's scared. Never been scared to die. More so now. Because God then showed me his glory. It's real. Heaven is real. And hell is real about the way. Choose this day, said the Lord, who you going to serve. Because it's time, y'all. The line is being drawn. And they're trying to, they trying to taint us. They're sending people. They're sending plants. What is plants? Those people that say they love you and they're taking that money the whole while. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't cut them all off. Not knowing. God told me to tell you, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So I'm not even mad at you. Because you're going to get yours. Whether here or there. Y'all know what there is, right? Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. So that's all God told me to say. I'm going to get up out of here and go home and... Who stay on the wall. That's what we do. Y'all know what time it is. All right, let me get up out of here. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Let's walk like it. Let's talk like it. Let's act like it. Let's be like it. Nobody's scared. Hey, you know what was in my spirit today? And I'm not talking it in a worldly connotation. I don't know about you. I used to be a savage back. Ask anybody in Abbeville, Louisiana. Now I'm a savage for Christ. You sure you want to ride this roller coaster? <laughs> All right, y'all. God bless.